A Beginner's Guide to Plant Parenting. Top 25 Tips. Welcome to Blossoming Beginnings, where we embark on an exciting journey into the world of plant parenting. Whether you're a green-thumbed enthusiast or just starting to dip your toes into the soil, this guide is tailor-made for you. From selecting the perfect plant companions to mastering the art of nurturing them, we're here to provide you with the essential tips and tricks to help your indoor garden thrive. But the journey doesn't end there. As we delve into the fascinating world of plant care, we invite you to join our community of fellow plant enthusiasts. Subscribe to our channel for regular updates, insightful tips, and engaging discussions. Together, let's cultivate a greener, more vibrant world, one plant at a time. Don't miss out on the latest insights and inspiration. Subscribe now and let's grow together. Tip number one, start with easy to grow plants. Begin your plant parenting journey with species known for their resilience and adaptability. This suggests that when you're just starting out as a plant parent, it's wise to choose plants that are resilient and adaptable. These types of plants can withstand a variety of conditions and are more forgiving of beginner mistakes, such as overwatering or inconsistent care, such as pothos, spider plants, snake plants, or succulents. These plants are forgiving of occasional neglect and are great for beginners. Pothos, Epipremnum aureum. Pothos is a popular choice for beginners because it can tolerate low light, inconsistent watering, and a wide range of temperatures. It has attractive heart-shaped leaves that come in various shades of green, making it a versatile and decorative addition to any home. Spider plant, Chlorophytum camosum. Spider plants are known for their long arching leaves that resemble spider legs. They thrive in indirect light and prefer slightly moist soil. Spider plants are also excellent air purifiers, making them a practical and aesthetic choice for beginner plant parents. Snake plant, Sansevieria. Snake plants are incredibly resilient and can survive in low light conditions with infrequent watering. They have striking upright leaves with variegated patterns, adding visual interest to any space. Snake plants are also known for their air purifying properties, making them ideal for indoor environments. Succulents. Succulents encompass a wide variety of plants that store water in their leaves, stems, or roots. They come in countless shapes, sizes, and colors, making them a favorite among plant enthusiasts. Succulents thrive in bright light and well-draining soil, and they require infrequent watering, making them low-maintenance choices for beginners. Tip number two, understand light requirements. Different plants have different light requirements. Some thrive in bright, indirect light, while others prefer low light conditions. Learn about the light preferences of your plants and place them accordingly in your home. Tip number three, water wisely. Overwatering is a common mistake among beginners. Understand the watering needs of your plants. Some like to dry out between waterings, while others prefer consistently moist soil. Always check the soil moisture before watering. Tip number four, provide proper drainage. Ensure your pots have drainage holes to prevent water from accumulating at the bottom, which can lead to root rot. If your pot doesn't have drainage, consider repotting your plant into one that does. Tip number five, monitor humidity. Many houseplants thrive in environments with higher humidity levels. Mist your plants regularly, use a humidity tray, or group plants together to create a more humid microclimate. Tip number six, regularly inspect for pests and diseases. Keep an eye out for pests like aphids, spider mites, or mealybugs, as well as signs of diseases such as mold or mildew. Catching these issues early can prevent them from spreading and harming your plants. Tip number seven, prune and trim. Regular pruning helps promote healthy growth and prevents legginess. Trim off dead or yellowing leaves and prune back overgrown branches to maintain the shape and health of your plants. Tip number eight, fertilize appropriately. While many houseplants don't require frequent fertilization, some benefit from occasional feeding during the growing season. Use a balanced water-soluble fertilizer diluted to half strength to avoid overfeeding. Tip number nine, rotate your plants. Rotate your plants regularly to ensure even growth and prevent them from leaning towards the light source. This helps maintain a balanced shape and prevents one side from becoming leggy. Tip number 10, 
Educate yourself. Learn as much as you can about the specific needs of your plants, understanding their preferences for light, water, temperature, and humidity will help you provide the best care possible and foster a thriving indoor garden. As we continue to explore the wonderful world of plant care, we encourage you to become a part of our growing community. If you're enjoying this video and finding it helpful, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more insightful content. And while you're at it, give us a thumbs up if you've learned something new and consider sharing this video with your fellow plant-loving friends. Your support helps us continue to create valuable resources for plant enthusiasts like you. Tip number 11, use high quality soil. Invest in good quality potting soil tailored to the needs of your plants. Avoid using garden soil as it may compact in containers and hinder drainage. Tip number 12, be mindful of temperature. Most houseplants prefer consistent temperatures and can be sensitive to drafts or extreme temperature fluctuations. Keep your plants away from heaters, air conditioners, and drafty windows. Tip number 13, repot when necessary. As your plants grow, they may outgrow their current pots. Repot them into slightly larger containers to provide more space for root growth. Look for signs such as roots coming out of the drainage holes or slowed growth. Tip number 14, learn propagation techniques. Propagating your plants through cuttings or division is a rewarding way to expand your collection without spending extra money. Research propagation methods for your specific plants and give it a try. Tip number 15, create a routine. Establishing a regular care routine helps you stay consistent with watering, fertilizing, and other maintenance tasks. Set a schedule that works for you and your plant's needs and stick to it as much as possible. Tip number 16, consider your lifestyle. Choose plants that match your lifestyle and schedule. If you travel frequently or have a busy lifestyle, opt for low maintenance plants that can tolerate occasional neglect. Tip number 17, patience is key. Remember that plant care is a learning process and it's okay to make mistakes along the way. Be patient with yourself and your plants and don't get discouraged if things don't go perfectly at first. Tip number 18, join a community. Joining online forums, social media groups, or local gardening clubs can provide valuable support and advice from experienced plant enthusiasts. Sharing your experiences and learning from others can enhance your plant parenting journey. And remember, we're here to support you every step of the way. If you have any questions about plant parenting or want personalized advice for your indoor garden, feel free to reach out to us in the comments section below. We're dedicated to providing you with the best possible guidance based on our knowledge and experience. Your questions and feedback are invaluable to us, so don't hesitate to ask. Together, let's nurture thriving green spaces in our homes and communities. Tip number 19, give your plant space. Avoid overcrowding your plants, as this can lead to increased competition for light, water, and nutrients. Leave enough space between plants to allow for adequate air circulation and growth. Tip number 20, clean your plants. Dust can accumulate on the leaves of indoor plants, which can hinder their ability to photosynthesize. Wipe the leaves gently with a damp cloth or give them a gentle shower occasionally to keep them clean and healthy. Tip number 21, observe seasonal changes. Be aware that your plant's needs may change with the seasons. Adjust your care routine accordingly, considering factors such as temperature, humidity, and daylight hours. Tip number 22. Invest in proper tools. Having the right tools on hand can make plant care tasks much easier. Invest in a good pair of pruners, a watering can with a narrow spout for precise watering, and a moisture meter to accurately gauge soil moisture levels. Tip number 23, learn from mistakes. Don't be discouraged by setbacks or failures. Use them as learning opportunities to improve your plant care skills. Reflect on what went wrong and adjust your approach accordingly. Tip number 24, consider microclimates. Different areas of your home may have slightly different environmental conditions, creating microclimates. Pay attention to these differences 
and choose plants that thrive in each specific area. Tip number 25, enjoy the journey. Plant parenting is a fulfilling and enjoyable hobby that offers numerous benefits, from purifying the air to reducing stress. Take the time to appreciate the beauty and growth of your plants and enjoy the journey of nurturing them to their full potential. And here we are. As our journey together comes to a close, we want to express our gratitude for joining us on this adventure. Remember, your dedication to plant parenting not only enriches your life, but also contributes to a healthier, more vibrant planet. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more insightful tips, like this video if you found it helpful, and share it with your friends to spread the joy of plant parenting far and wide. And as always, feel free to leave any questions or comments below. We're here to help. Thank you for being a part of our community. Until next time, take care of yourself, your home, and of course your beloved houseplants.